Try the bitter. Yeah. Who's that? You it's know actually that quite drinkable. Go on. When you think about video games made in Canada, in most cases, the province of Quebec comes to mind. With its multiple AAA studios like Ubisoft, Warner Brothers, EA, and much more, the French province holds the reputation of bringing the industry's top game like Assassin's Creed, Batman, and so on. In this video series, I want to bring you a different perspective into the world of video game relative to the beautiful province I call home. I will bring you an insight to where it started, talk about some of the companies that work in the province, give you some stats pertaining to its share of the market compared to the rest of Canada, and hopefully bring a better appreciation for the games the province puts out every year. Before I jump into the more historical aspect of Quebec's gaming history, I wanted to dedicate the first video to some stats about the province's prosperous video game industry compared to the rest of Canada. A little side note, all statistics that I will mention come from the 2015 and 2016 essential fact documents put together by the ESAC. This is short for the Entertainment Software Association of Canada. These documents can be found at theesa.ca and features way more stats on Canadian video game statistics. Carl Fulbert sought information for a living. That is to say that ever since he returned from Korea, after having served with the armed forces, he had been working as a private investigator in Montreal. Let's start off with some essential information concerning gaming in general when it comes to the whole country. In the study from 2016, ESAC estimates that 18.9 million Canadians play video games. That's a whopping 52% of Canadians' population that plays either a console, PC, handheld, or phone. Another interesting fact about all those gamers is that 49% of them are reportedly female. One last statistic when it comes to Canada is the average age of gamers is 36 years old, which most would assume it skews way younger. I'm on your side. My side. My side works within the law. We've earned Gotham's respect. When we take a closer look into Quebec's side of things, we can see how the province plays a big role in the video game industry. Quebec represents 29.4% of all Canadian video game companies, which is only second by British Columbia with 27.1%, and Ontario comes in third place with 22.9%. Looking at the video game market, we can see that there isn't a big disparity between the three provinces, but looking at another stat, Quebec accounts for 10,850 full-time employees, which is 53% of all Canadian video gaming companies combined. If you try and rip the world apart, someone will always put it back together. Not only does the French province account for that many employees, but it also has the biggest expenditure amount which capped at $1.14 billion in 2015. Let's break down that 29.4%. Quebec accounted for 14 out of Canada's 21 largest game companies like Ubisoft, Warner Brother, and Square Enix. Those 14 companies alone take up a surprising 96% of the 10,850 full-time employees mentioned earlier. After that, the Eastern Province has 68 standard-sized companies, which accounts for 3.6% of Canada's gaming employment, and 57 micro-companies. Out of all those 57 micro-game makers, we can see in this statistic that these account for only 0.2% of all the province's full-time employment. You'd be surprised to hear that on average, full-time employees earn about $66,200 per year. If you got a job for me, let's hear it. Are you sure you're up to it? Okay, so here's the gig. I've got a whole list of... After reviewing all these statistical facts, we can clearly see why Quebec strives in the gaming scene. As we will learn in a future video game of Quebec's gaming history, the boom can be explained due to a tax that was introduced in 1996, which incentivized game makers to lay roots in La Belle Province, most prominent one being Ubisoft Montreal in 1997. The entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust. We need to find more resources. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little insight into Quebec's world of video game. One of the reasons I wanted to start this video series is to promote the industry where I live. I believe that Quebec has shown to the gaming community that it can stand with the best and produce some of the best games in the industry. In the next video in this series, I'll take a closer look at where it all began. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Follow me everywhere, MeTimeGamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here at youtube.com forward slash MeTimeGamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.